PC gaming is dying a death, and I think it begins and ends with the superiority of Nintendo consoles. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Um, I have a very sad video to make today because PC gaming, as we know it, is finished. PC gaming is dead. Um, there's no future for PC gaming, and Nintendo, Xbox, and PlayStation will reign supreme. Uh, they're going to overshadow PC gaming. Uh, PC gaming is going to become irrelevant and die a slow death. That is according to the Nintendo fanboy that we're going to be taking a look at here today. Now, I've covered this guy here on the channel before because of his awful takes regarding Nintendo gaming and non-Nintendo gaming, and even a video or two about PC gaming, which I mean is very similar to this video. But in today's video, he has an absolute like coping session over PC gaming and PC gamers and even talks about sending people who emulate to jail. Now, I don't want to waste too much time on the intro here, so let's just jump straight into his video. PC gaming is dying a death. I think this is the fastest that I've ever paused a video that I've been reacting to. Well, besides that guy who ripped ass in the first second of his uh, Doom review. I like how this guy says that PC gaming is dying a death, but he doesn't really show any sources or anything to back this up. Well, I mean, we all know Harmon's source. My source is that I made it the fuck up. The truth is, is that PC gaming is not dying at all, and unlike Harmon, my source isn't I pulled it out of my ass. Here, take a look at this. For 2024, according to latest data, there are 132 million monthly users on Steam. And that is just one PC gaming platform. But apparently, according to Harmon, it's just deader than Shakespeare in his casket. And I think it begins and ends with the superiority of Nintendo consoles. As we all know, Nintendo consoles are superior to gaming PCs in every way. They have way more functionality. They're way more fun to play with friends. They have way better software. As we all know, the Nintendo Switch is superior to the gaming PC in every way, apparently. Well, besides performance, because uh, last time I checked, my fucking Nintendo Switch couldn't run 4K 60 or 4K 120. I'd like to see the Nintendo Switch run the game I'm playing here in the background at the frame rate that I'm playing it on. This is Black Ops 3, released in 2015, and it's a modded map for the game that came out in like 2018. But the issue over the past 10 or so years is that the PC Master Race, the delusional group of uh, terminally online weirdos- I know this dude of all people is not going to be calling PC gamers a group of uh, quote-unquote terminally online weirdos. Dude, you literally upload like three videos a day where you're sat on your couch with your camera facing yourself talking about the decline and death of PC gaming. To refuse to accept anything other than PC gaming as being a relevant gaming platform. You literally upload videos to YouTube where you claim that everything that isn't Nintendo is just a huge pile of shit. Have been attempting to gaslight people into thinking PC gaming is superior inside in spite of basically relying on multi-plat releases from Xbox and PlayStation in order to stay relevant. I don't know, dude. The thing is with PC gaming is that you can play literally any game ever released and you know if the game isn't supported on PC which very few games aren't you can just emulate them right PC gaming is so so irrelevant that it's major major news whenever a, a PC exclusive gets released and usually it's some like established minor niche thing that just has a dedicated cult following. You know, stuff like Half-Life Alex or Baldur's Gate 3. All right, let's talk about these two games. Baldur's Gate 3 is not niche. It literally won Game of the Year 2023 and millions of people love it, including millions of people who play the game on console and not only PC. As for Half-Life Alex, the game is a virtual reality title and 99.9% of gamers do not care about VR gaming. I mean, hell, just take a look at the amount of PlayStation 5s that were sold, and then take a look at the amount of PlayStation VRs that were sold. It's quite clear that the majority of people do not care about VR games like Half-Life Alex. But for those that do care about VR gaming, Half-Life Alex is an incredible VR game, if not the best VR game that you can play. Also, I like how he calls PC gaming a uh, quote-unquote 
niche when it literally has 132 million monthly active users right these aren't major releases these aren't these aren't games that are going to be remembered 20 years from now these aren't relevant right it's only relevant because it's half-life it's only relevant because it's DD, &D, right that is the current situation when it comes to pc gaming or or consider this it could just be that they're incredible games and that's why people remember them and they definitely will be remembered in 10 to 20 years you're just upset that they aren't on your precious nintendo switch is that this is an ecosystem that appeals to people that have way too much time and money on their hands apparently pc gamers have too much time and money on their hand which, I mean, is just utter fucking bullshit, because uh, I've seen people who work their ass off that have a PC and play PC games. I've seen people who uh, really struggle with money, and they still have PCs, and they play PC games. Also, I find it extremely ironic that you're gonna be the one to sit here and tell other people that they have too much time on their hands, as if you don't upload, like, four videos a day talking about the decline of PC gaming and how Nintendo is superior and as a result generates a ton of revenue in spite of being an objectively inferior experience. Apparently PC gaming is an inferior experience. Let's go ahead and hear his explanation as to why. Oh wait, he doesn't provide one. And I think with the advent of the Nintendo Switch, with more and more people getting exposed to all these great Nintendo games, Tears of the Kingdom, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, Fire Emblem Engage, you know, like there are dozens, dozens, of, dozens of dozens of examples last year alone of games that will never, ever release on PC. Now, I hate to be the one to just piss all over your parade here, but I have talked to people, I have seen people play games like Tears of the Kingdom on PC, and by the way, play in much better graphics and much better frame rates and resolutions. So even if Nintendo don't release these games on PC, people are still going to find a way to play them. I mean, you can always just redump your cartridge of the game, your physical copy of the game, and play it on your PC. In any capacity. Oh, what about emulation? It's piracy. Oh, what about emulation? Emulation is not piracy. To emulate just means to emulate an older console, to, you know, take on the properties of an older console. When you play an Xbox 360 game on your Xbox One or your Xbox Series X, that is emulation. When you play a Nintendo 64 game with your Nintendo Switch Online subscription service, guess what? That is emulation, so by your logic, that is illegal. I love when these, like, PC gaming haters talk about how much, you know, emulation is illegal, and they always just have no clue what the fuck they're talking about. What is illegal is torrenting slash stealing these games, and half the games that are getting torrented are old and don't get sold anymore anyway, so even if you did buy it from somebody secondhand, it wouldn't be benefiting the company in any way at all. I mean, seriously, think about it. Let's say you want to play Pokemon Ruby, but the game isn't sold anymore uh what would you rather do just go online and download it or pay some like sketchy guy 500 dollars in an alleyway to get a copy of the game so the instant that nintendo is able to uh, crack down on piracy and start sending these people straight to prison where they belong you know where people like oh no it's alex can enjoy dropping the soap and here we have him projecting his fantasies onto others now how are you gonna seriously say that people like oh no it's alex belong in fucking prison for what because he downloaded a game online that's like 30 years old that isn't sold anymore oh boo fucking who dude right when we when we see that start to happen emulation is gonna drop like a rock yeah no it's not emulation is not gonna stop what's gonna end up happening is people are just gonna start using vpns in a lot of ways people don't really understand like nintendo's anti-piracy protection like the the anti-piracy software works clearly not that well for the most part like people are banging on about flashcards right now like probably a single update would uh would patch that out would make them obsolete like there is there is all sorts of things nintendo can do to mitigate like this flashcard problem right uh, again what it comes down to really is that there is a certain demographic that is religiously obsessed with the idea of nintendo failing no matter what and going third party when that is becoming more and more obvious 
is never going to happen. Finally, he said something that wasn't just utter horseshit. Yeah, Nintendo is not going to go third party, and I mean, why would they? But you seem to have this delusional idea that there's just a group of people like chanting and wishing for Nintendo's failure. Nobody cares, dude. They're going to be just fine. Right. It remains to be seen just when and how Nintendo will objectively like surpass PC gaming. I mean, once again, let's talk about the fact that there's 132 million monthly active users on Steam. I think the Nintendo Switch sold 120 million uh, consoles worldwide. Yeah, it's not even close, dude. Because right now, I think there's like an argument of like, you know, the free online play and like the digital storefront and like, you know, the ability to upgrade your own parts and just like the sheer nostalgia figure, you know, like a uh, factor of just playing on PC your entire life and simply not knowing what's on the superior Nintendo platform. According to Harmon, if you take a look at two devices, the 720p 30 to 60 FPS device is superior to the 4K, like, 100 to 200 FPS device. The device that you can't install mods for is superior to the device that you can install mods for. The device that you can't upgrade parts for is superior to the device that you can upgrade and pick your own parts for. It's all cope, dude. Right? I, I think it's very clear, simply observing the community, that people who play on both, who have high-end gaming PCs, like myself, I find it funny that every single fanboy video like this, they always talk about, well, I have a PC, I tried out PC, I didn't like it, I have a high-end PC, um, I paid a lot of money for it, it has really good specs, but they never list off any specs or how much money they paid for it. Like, be 100% honest with us, your PC is worth maybe $200 and it's a laptop that you got out of the bottom of a cereal box or from a Kinder Surprise egg. Be honest with us, that shit probably couldn't run Doom from 1993 and would probably start a house fire if you tried to launch minesweeper you know from slop right they had to like do the dark souls thing like they have to keep trying to gaslight you into thinking zelda is like some stale derivative franchise because if you knew that zelda was a innovative franchise that completely redefined gaming with every major release nobody would really bother with any of this other stuff as someone who's played tears of the kingdom and thought it was probably the best game in 2023 uh this is just untrue dude i mean i play tons of other games because zelda is a game where you beat the game and then you kind of just move on it's not a multiplayer game with infinite replayability right and it's not just zelda of course it's mario of course it's of course it's Splatoon. of course it's animal crossing all of which are completely unemulatable i'm not sure where Harmon is getting the idea that the these games are not emulatable, I don't know if he's just making it the fuck up, but I've seen people emulate these games just fine and actually play much better than they would on the Switch. Right, you have these amazing experiences that you can only get on Switch. And the question is, I think, is at what point the general gaming public starts getting sick of PC gamers and their nonsense of claiming that the de definitive versions of everything is on their platform because it's happening you know like i've talked about this before like i've acknowledged that nintendo hardware is objectively superior my brother in christ the hardware inside of a nintendo switch is not even as powerful as the hardware inside of an xbox one so how in the kentucky fried fuck is it better than a PC? To PC gaming. I've talked about how Doom 2016 on PC is not as good as Doom 2016 on Nintendo Switch because it isn't portable. You're right. It is better on the Switch because, oh wait, the Steam Deck exists and so do laptops. Right. Right. I've talked about how there's no discernible difference between like The Witcher 3 on Switch and Skyrim on Switch compared to like the, the PC gaming platform and all the excuses that people throw out there. Either you're in complete denial and you just don't want to admit the fact that your Nintendo Switch isn't as powerful as a top of the line gaming PC or your PC is just utter fucking dog shit. Stuff like mods, stuff like... Uh, you know, just uh, higher frame rates. All of it is just gaslighting you, right? It is just an attempt to, to try and like just throw buzzwords at you. Except it's not just buzzwords. You can go ahead and search up for a frame rate comparison on YouTube between the Nintendo Switch and PC versions of Skyrim and see a clear difference. I've never seen somebody in my life so delusional that they literally think that their $200 console is more powerful than somebody's like $10,000 gaming PC. Like, what? 
<laughs> like half life it, it's remarkable how on unrem- it's remarkable just how how uninteresting half-life is it's not interesting to you but to millions of other people out there in the world it is interesting and that's why it sold so well right it is a franchise that is only remembered only remembered because of its association with valve and like the steam front right Uh, without without that association with pc gaming without being like the only reason pc gaming is relevant valve wouldn't be a studio that like anybody talks about that anybody cares about like valve is a complete joke ah yes steam is such a joke that it generated 7.7 billion dollars and 132 million people use it monthly what a joke am i right you know pc gaming is a complete joke I don't understand how PC gaming is a joke. Every single video game ever created is created on PC. You can play online on PC for free. You can mod all your games on PC. You can upgrade your PC whenever you want. Things like that. There's so much more customizability to your PC than to a console. You know, all these companies that just that just exist, like who cares about any of them right where are the games is is what i'm asking why would i want to like play tf2 and just like throw in a bunch of hats you know pay real money for hats like why would i want to pay a subscription fee for world of warcraft now that you want to talk about subscription fees let's talk about the fact that online multiplayer was free when the nintendo switch came out which was a good choice i actually applauded them for that but then they took that multiplayer away from you and sold it back to you. And you gladly accepted it and sat there and defended it. You know, like, why would I want to do that? Why would I not spend my money on a brand new game on Nintendo Switch? Because you're likely to be locked to 30 FPS, which is extremely hard to play when it comes to first person shooters, which are my main games of choice, because you can't mod those games, because you have to pay a service for online on those games, etc., etc. Like the real the reality is that like liking PC gaming is uh for midwits, right? It's people who think they're like being smart because like, oh, I can just steal games, you know, on my on my gaming PC. Harmon, I want you to tell us the truth here now. Um, is the reason you're upset about PC gaming is because you have to spend eighty dollars on every single game you buy? Is that the reason? Are you jealous? Right? It's not for people who like actually think all that much about gaming people who actually wonder like what what great games are out there like what what console is the best what one offers the most value for my money and which one has the most games well Harmon, i think i know what your biggest enemy in this world is besides pc gaming and that is research take a look at this i decided to look for some facts online which is something you don't do by the way and uh, there are about 10,706 video games on the switch that is pretty impressive i'm not gonna lie but let's go ahead and take a look at how many are on Steam. Oh, wait, what was that, Harmon? I thought there were more games on the Nintendo Switch. Could it be that you're possibly just talking out of your ass? Because, like, if you ask those questions, you end up inevitably at the same place. That Nintendo is superior. I don't know, man. That quick bit of research I just did didn't make me come to that conclusion. And right now, it's uh, we're kind of in this interesting period where we're beginning to see the, the cracks starting to show with PC gaming. Of course, like GTA 6 is not coming day one. And I mean, it's probably not coming at all to the Nintendo Switch. Oh no, dude. Oh no, one game might come out a little bit later on PC rather than consoles. That's it. PC gaming is finished. The cracks are showing. And, and uh, the major, major platforms that are subsidizing the PC gaming audience uh playstation and xbox they're on the way out considering how much money microsoft and sony has i don't think they're on their way out anytime soon without those platforms carrying pc without them carrying pc sales without them like developing all of the games that will eventually come to pc like pc doesn't have anything worth talking about Really? Is that why every single video game on planet Earth is designed on a PC and then ported over to a console, including those games on your precious Nintendo Switch? 
without PlayStation and Xbox, like, you wouldn't have Halo, you wouldn't have Gears of War, you wouldn't have the Uncharted games, Horizon Zero Dawn, days gone. So let me get this straight, PC would suck if it didn't have those games, yet the Nintendo Switch doesn't have those games, and yet it's still superior? Right, like, all of these games that uh, Steam fans like to hype up, but then not actually play, will just stop getting produced, and that will be at the end of PC gaming, right? It will be an interesting, slow, drawn-out death, because I'm sure, I think PC gaming, more than any other demographic, has this cultish mindset around it, that, like, we have to defend our platform no matter what, we have to present it as superior. There is an astounding lack of awareness in this video, dude. Are you not self-aware that you literally are that exact same thing that you just described, but just for Nintendo? You constantly have to come on here and defend Nintendo. You constantly think they're being attacked. You constantly have to come on here and say it's superior. You realize you're the exact thing that you're explaining right now, right? Instead of flinging all these insults at PC gamers, why not just like take a minute, go and look in the mirror and realize you're the exact same thing that you sit on here and criticize day after day after day after day. We can't allow anybody to question it. Like we have to like just obsessively come after anyone who who questions the pc gaming master race you can like go down in the comments right now and see this but i mean the comments on your video are almost always right though when they're criticizing you and most of the comments on your videos get more likes than your actual video it's a really bad sign when somebody comments on your video arguing with you and more people agree with that comment than your original video. That probably means that your videos suck. Like, anybody who questions, like, the superiority of PC gaming is is talked down to and disregarded and made fun of. I find it funny that you complain about quote-unquote being made fun of, but yet in an older video, you actually said that you would continue to make fun of PC gamers. Which one is it, dude? It can't. You can't have it both ways. And I, I think that's a major reason why you don't see a lot of YouTubers do it, because it's just not worth your time or effort, right? You're better off, you're always better off, talking about the games you actually enjoy. And you know, you bring up a good point. The only problem is you don't practice this point. If you were to just come on here, day after day, and talk about games that you like on Nintendo, nobody would have a problem with what you're doing. If you came on here and just talked about how much you liked Tears of the Kingdom and how much you thought it, you know, was game of the year for you, and how much you enjoyed playing your Switch this year, people wouldn't have a problem with it. The reason people have a problem with you and all other fanboys is because you don't just come on here and say, hey, Nintendo is great. You come on here and say shit like, Nintendo is great and PC is dying a slow fucking death. Uh, PC gaming is irrelevant dog shit. Xbox is dead. You come on here and say stuff like that, and obviously people are going to laugh at you for it. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say for this video. Uh, I'm going to peace out now.